danger room. The room of danger. Where, as I mentioned in the past, this room ain't big enough for the two of us. Only one, one team can come out the other side victorious. One team can take home the crown, the heavyweight belt that says, I just did it a little bit better than you. Now, there's a situation here where the bosses, they change on a weekly basis. It's a rotating schedule. And your strategy and the tactics that you will use, they certainly should change based on who the boss is. If you want the best chance of survival, if you want the best chance to come out that other side on top. And this week, it is none other than the trifling strife himself. And this man, he's different from the other two because as soon as you stop packing on that damage, it just hit. He says, boy, but you better pump those brakes. You better pull those reins back. And he stops you right in your tracks. But there's a, there's a thing that we in the biz, we like to call skipping the phases, baby. Skipping the phases. And yes, certain characters are better for this than others. So some characters that may not be all that great for the other bosses, their value increases for strife. And on the flip side as well, some character like Moonstone, right? She can she can one shot Magneto. She can one shot Jean. I'm pretty sure she can one shot Magneto. I know I've done it. I've done it for Jean. One shot her. Sorry, sorry, man. I cannot play right now. Yes. So, but for Strife, she's good, but she's just not as good. She's not the best anymore because she cannot skip that phase she can get she can get through she can deal a lot of damage and get to the next phase very quickly but she can't skip the phase i mean i've heard of of odd situations where people say that they've skipped the phase with her but i haven't done it and, and i definitely don't see it happening on a consistent basis so i actually have some runs recorded uh that i did yesterday and i'm gonna play those and I'm going to kind of talk through what's going on. And then I'll do some live gameplay, maybe with a couple other tunes. And, you know, just, just to, so you can see it. So you can see what's going on, what's happening. And I try to approach this from a more free-to-play perspective, right? So everybody can take advantage of what I'm talking about here. So... I did make a I did make a video on Strife in the past featuring some other characters, but for today, for right now, uh, the best character to use for Strife is going to be Ghost Rider. Okay, and uh, there's some things to note. So it's not just the skipping that you want to pay attention to. Okay, there's um, there are these portals that that appear uh, alongside of the stage, right? And then Strife, you notice, one character will have a, an arrow, will have a target over their head. And that's who Strife is targeting with his beam. And what you need to do is, you need to guide that beam along those bubbles, along those portals on the side to kill those portals. It'll make them disappear. Otherwise, if you don't, it, you, you get the undodgeable purple right that you know you know the purple and all the bosses in the game you know it's dead it's like it's like certain death right you don't always die but you have a good chance of dying so you know you get the, the kind of crisscross pattern if you don't um of, of the purple beams it, that will kill you so you need to guide those beams and there's there's certain strategy to it that that i do that seems to work a little bit better than just kind of you know hokey pokey you know just going in there wishy-washy not really having a plan 
So that first and foremost, and, and um, if you don't do that, your teammates could, could get a little upset at you. Uh, I know I get upset if, if, if I'm focused on that, my, my teammates aren't really paying attention to it, and especially if I die, and then if we lose the match, it's just no good. So pay attention to that. Second off, whenever the phase is ending, and, and, and then Strife comes out of the iframe and you're able to target him again, everybody should go to the center of the map together. Everybody should be in the same place at once. Because Strife likes to jump, right? If you notice that, he likes to jump. He likes to, he goes into iframe and he jumps to another spot in the map. So if you're all together, he'll go to the same spot, right? You see what I'm saying? Because he'll go from one spot to the other depending on where you are on the map. So everybody congregate to the middle, right? It's like a mad rush. Go to the middle every time the phase every time the phase ends and, and you know you're able to do you know start doing damage to strife again. Those two things are important and then the skipping, right? So this could be the determination whether or not you win that match, whether or not you're able to skip a certain so two phases you can you can skip. One phase you could skip rather easily. Okay, so the first phase you can skip. Um, it's only been done with, with a few characters from what I understand. Uh, Ghost Rider, he can kind of do it, um, you know, depending if you give him a good lead. Um, like Dr. Strange lead is the best because Dr. Strange not only has the increased energy attack, but the buff on his fifth skill. Same with Namor, he has the buff on his fifth skill as well, but Dr. Strange is better. Right here, let me show you. So, yeah, this is OP lead. This is what... You know, to, for skipping, um, just doing extra damage, um, Doctor Strange is, is lead along with his fifth skill. So if you're not aware, his fifth skill, right, he applies to all allies, you see that? 80% increase to attack, right? He's got the speed and the crit rate as well. But the attack is, is the most important, especially if you have those other stats maxed out, right, capped. Um, so that's very good, and that will allow you to skip much easier, especially that first phase with Ghost Rider. I've seen it done with Sharon Rogers. Um, I don't know if I've seen it done with anybody else. So keep note of that. Now, um, I would mostly focus on the, on the, is it the third? I think it's the third phase. We'll, we'll, we'll see. So the first phase, yeah, so the, the third phase you can, you can skip as well. So you, you skip the first one and then you basically, you go into the extreme phase and then you can skip the next one, going from 70 bars to 40 bars. That's the one you want to focus on. That, that's the one that most characters can skip. And the thing is, if you're able to skip that one, then you just you gain so much time where it's going to be difficult for the other team to catch up, especially if they're not skipping, right? But if they skip and you don't, then you know, you're know you on the flip side of that. So let's play So this first run here. I got this run. This is going to be with. So I'm using Ghost Rider right here. Oh, and by the way, shout out to uh, to Greater, G R A Y T R, um, and Gorilla Baby 24 for helping me out with these runs here. Okay, so let's go on and play this, and I'll show you what's going on. So this is a little odd. Unless you have a lot of attack on the cards and stuff, it usually doesn't work out. Um, the way that this does, but certainly that second phase, and, and, and you'll see. Okay, so I always go five, two, four, and then, okay, so I'm going to pause this. So once you get that, that warning sign there, right, um, typically you can't attack them, but because Ghost Rider has the ignore, you know, uh, um, iframe um, on his third, right, he can... He can hit strife with that, so you basically you can hit him during certain times, not all the time, um, but in certain cases, right? In this, the first phase being one of them, you can push him down to skip that altogether. So you get the extreme phase, and then you get his, um, you know, his his you know bubbles on the side, the por the portal phase as well. And if possible, depending on what phase, what extreme phase you get. You'll get him simultaneously. Try to guide his beam. Um, it's difficult. It's definitely difficult. But try to guide his beam to you know the top of the map there. So if you have the target over your head, go to the top of the map. I don't think we do that here though. So yeah, here it wouldn't be that hard. 
to do that. Uh, but he, you know, he gets he gets sucked into the uh, in, into the tornado, into the abyss, right? So, and it's definitely it's definitely tricky. Like I think I try to attack here, and I get I get sucked into the tornado. But um, and you, you'll see more clearly on the next one what it looks like. You know, not skipping the first phase and only skipping the second phase, but <clears throat> able to skip the first and the second or first and the the third phase i guess we'll we'll call it the 70 to 40 bars so because typically you're only getting to 40 bars but we're able to get them down a little bit further it could be due to pierce on cards it could be just uh you know high attack or just ghost rider in general you know it seems like things are always changing a little bit in daydream so okay so actually what i want to do is so you see how this is the best way to do this last phase, right? Especially if, see if I can just, I just want to rewind it. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, so pay attention here what, where, where I put my character. So once this last phase starts, I go all the way to the bottom right here, and then I, and then I go all the way around. So this way you actually end up getting pretty, you can get all of the bubbles there. Otherwise, um, because there's that gap on the bottom, you don't necessarily get all of <clears throat> the bubbles, right? Okay, so that's uh, a demonstration of what to do with Ghost Rider. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to explain something on, on the next run because if you don't skip the first phase, it looks a little bit different. All right. All right, we're queuing up for this second run here. Um, I wanted to use Thor and <clears throat> excuse me because I heard he was really good for um, for strife and he can skip so in shout out to greater for um, you know he must he must have tested with this prior he's gonna let me know the the rotation what you actually want to do once the uh, once the phase once you can start doing damage again you know after the uh, 70 bars so here you see we didn't skip typically you don't I pretty much only do it with Ghost Rider like I said I've seen people do it with uh, with Sharon Rogers but um, you know these extreme phases you know uh, danger room extreme it's been out long enough now where everybody should pretty much have a pretty good idea of what to do <clears throat> during these okay and, and oh and by the way save your tier 3 most importantly save your tier 3 for this phase so after okay so you see how well the, my teammates don't actually guide the bubbles but typically you want to guide it okay now here you want to do three five four and then tier three once the warning sign comes up it's like immediately after that comes up you have a short window to do damage um and then also where did the wise if you do skip and you get the laser phase during that it's probably better off to just die because there's so much going on you just it's going to be very difficult to stay alive okay we get them down we do get them down quickly and again you'll see me go to this section here so this way you go counterclockwise um, and then you can get it or you can go to the other side and go and go um, clockwise right and it's a pretty much it's a done deal it's a very quick match very quick all right moving on all right, and I wanted to give Loki a spin, right? Like I said, I'm trying to keep this more free to play friendly, um, and give people, you know, you know, better options. So this way, like, you don't need a paywall character like Namor or Valkyrie even. So I wanted to take Loki in and see if he can see if he can be one of these characters. And sure enough, he is. He can skip. Now this is my first time ever actually using Loki. I think in Danger Room at all definitely first for strife so um things could probably be timed out a little bit better but um but yeah you'll 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 see we actually just get the skip um and it seems like the the five to the four to the three the three could you know you could you know possibly get stuck on that um <clears throat> and the good thing with loki is that you know, you get his tier three on every other rotation, but like with all other characters, you want to save the tier three. Um, don't use it for this next phase. Like once he comes out of iframe here, don't use it. You want to save it for 
the after 70 bar phase. So even though we got him to 66, I call that the 70 bar phase because typically it stops at 70 bars. And here, you guide the beams. Make sure you do that here. It's, it's very important here. Most importantly here and then on the last, very last phase. So I do the five, four, see the three, I kind of got stuck there. And then after you get the warning sign, hit your tier three or whatever skill. And now you need to get him down to 40. So I was able to do some additional damage. So he like, there's a time where you can't do damage, right? Like at, right after the, the warning, you, you have a small win window to do damage and then and then you can't do damage. And then you have another, another tiny window to do damage again. Um, in order to push them down so you can you can skip right and we push them down to the to the 20 um, bar phase um, and again you might see different now like it's, it's at 13 but it's really like the 20 bar phase because typically he goes into that phase at 20 bars and it's pretty much a done deal here as well okay moving on to the next one baby Okay, and I, I've had a lot of people asking me how Strife performs, or not Strife, duh, can't even use Strife for Strife. How well uh, Sentry performs now that I have an energy on him, and specifically an energy with Beatdown. And you'll see, he actually performs very, very well for, for Danger Room now that he made the change. For ABX, not so much. Um, he, he scored way less in ABX with the particular energy that I have on him, if it was like an all attack energy, I think, you know, he, he definitely do better, but nobody needs strife for universal hero day, right? You just, you don't need strife. You have Ghost Rider, you have Thor now, like you just don't need him. Right? Even, even Captain Marvel, right? So I don't, you know, with the beatdown, I don't try to activate it on that very first rotation. Although something that I've noticed is that Sentry's beatdown, it fill his bar fills up way faster than Beta Ray Bills. I have one on Beta Ray Bill and him, and his bar just fills up so fast. I don't know if it has anything to do with like with his movement speed, but I don't even move like I don't. It feels like I don't even travel as far with him um, to fill that up. It's 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 pretty amazing. All right, and again, save in tier three. Guiding the beam, right? Team, he's guiding the beam over to kill all those those portals on the side there. And then with um, Sentry, because of the very long animation on his tier three, um, you can't afford to. You can do it like right when you can start doing damage because there's a, there's a lot of damage on it. You know, if you're using an energy like that, but um, if you know you don't have like a whole lot of attack on cards and whatnot you're gonna want to um yeah i don't know what happens here like there was like a huge stall with um getting through his animation there um but sometimes to play it safe you might want to wait until that right when that warning sign comes up and then pop you know your tier three whatever skill you're going to use to take them down just to, to skip right in here, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty quick thing as well. I think my proc even activates there, but um, it's fine. It works out. All right, so there were four runs. Now I'm gonna try to queue up a uh, a live run. You. Oh, Ma is already um, by um, challenger. I've been doing that. You know, I, I noticed I did in the last video. I called. Um, what is Challenger Vibranium, like a knucklehead. So used to like, you know, squad battle, timeline, Vibranium being the, uh, I'm on TV. Goofy guy. So, yeah, you see, we were able to, um, skip the first phase with Sharon Rogers. Uh, and yeah, I want to try to direct these beams here it looks like i'm gonna get caught up in the no okay okay this isn't really good so if you get that while while in the um while in this phase you can um <clears throat> excuse me you can where is he 
You can just go to the... Okay, so we're, we're getting some funky stuff here. We, we skipped the second part. Not really the, the, the demonstration that I wanted to offer you guys, but we skipped it. Um, but yeah, I was saying if you get that, that freeze, um, you know, crowd control mechanism, you can, um, you go to the, that, um, that's strange. That's never happened to me before where I just skipped the last phase like that. Wow. Okay. I actually want to do that again though. Oh, wow. Um, that's never happened to me. <laughs> Skipping the... Not what I wanted to record. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Let's try to get somebody else uh, back in here. Try to get this guy. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spam, spam the invites here. Let's. See. Well, you know what? Let's give. Um, yeah. Okay. There's Ma. There's Ma again. Let's get Ma back in. Here. Yeah. The worst, right? Just cause of the phases, and it takes the longest. Let's do this, Brutus. So yeah, maybe maybe I'll stick that in in the video. I'll stick that run in, just to show you that you know. I, it, it's possible to do that stuff, you know. I, I don't know if it's because of the Pierce on cards or or what, but that's that's never happened to me. Although you know, I haven't pl been playing a whole lot of Danger Room lately, like since you know the card progression. But they need to they need to make some changes in in Danger Room. They need to increase the difficulty. They need to increase the the mechanisms where like you can't just rush through the match all together or, or just even if they like doubled the health of the boss simple fix there and just added more of the phases i, I know the phases for strife can be annoying just like you know uh, mateo was 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 uh saying so where is she well oh, oh, i want to do i, I want uh, Okay, so um, <clears throat> Ma is giving us strange lead, and we'll see if this is uh, too much or not. Okay, so we actually didn't skip the first phase, which is fine. I actually want this run to go fairly normal, right? because we're gonna get frozen here oh no I don't get frozen somehow some way but I'm not complaining you know I just want to show demonstration for like the average player um, what it what it typically looks like and for skipping the um, <clears throat> so you see we're guiding the beam you know if you get most of them it's fine so with Sharon Rogers, you don't I, I notice you don't necessarily have to um, hit strike with the tier three, which we ended up skipping there. Uh, you don't have to hit him with the tier three because she gets the um, the penetration um, 
just just by like because she she gets penetration for a, like a set amount of time, and I've noticed that I've skipped with the uh, with the four skill. I'm getting sucked up here. So yeah, I, I have skipped with the four skill as long as I hit the tier three beforehand. Oh. They got me. They got me. The tornado got me. Okay, we got another tornado. Jesus. Okay. Crown spear. Not a problem. I can't even hit my skill. There we go. Okay. So, that's a pretty good demonstration. You see how we can skip with Sharon Rogers. And, like I said, you know, I wanted to give you guys some good free-to-play options, right? Because in the last one I made, I, I had somebody... Um, I had somebody mention that, you know, these characters aren't super free to play friendly. But I'll also, I'll give you guys some, uh, one second here. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'll be back shortly. All right. We've got a challenge. Sure, you, you completed a challenge. Lucky you. Get my Black Widow Biles. Okay, so, yeah, so you saw it. I played, um, you know, I gave you five different options, right? Yeah, I gave you Ghost Rider. You have Thor. Ghost Rider, Thor, Loki, Sentry, and Sharon Rogers. Now, I know Sentry, not everybody has them, right? But some other good options that you could use to skip. Magneto is really good. I know, you know, you got to get him through the Epic Quest. But I feel like a good amount of players already have Magneto. He's not, like, super hard to obtain. And a lot of players, you know, are just going for the Epic Quest anyways. Um, but you need this uniform on him. And what I do is when the phase, when that 70 bar phase, um, you know, starts, right? I do 4, 2, 5, 3. And then typical, typical Magneto rotation once there's about you know three seconds left on the proc, you hit the tier three, and, and at that point you're pretty much at the where the warning sign comes up, and then all that damage from his tier three pushes him down to the 40 bar phase. He's a good option. I know um, Namor. He's not a um, he's you know he, he's he's paywall, but you know I feel like most players have him as well, and the same thing. Um, he can skip really easily just with his tier three. Like I do four, uh, yeah, I do four, three, five, right? You get that proc going, about three seconds left on proc, hit that tier three and let the tier three play out. And even like by the time you hit his tier three, depending on how much, you know, a, a damage your everyone on the team is doing, um, you will be at that, you'll be at, you'll have that warning, warning phase come up. So that, that's the thing. You want to hit the tier three when that warning phase comes up for a lot of characters. You don't necessarily have to do with Namor because if you let his tier three play out, once he comes back down and hits you with the with like the you know the the, the fire water coming out of his spear, you know, whatever that is with his uniform, that's usually after that's after that that warning signs come up and that'll push him down. Um, that's something I used to do, you know, before crafted cards. Um, that was the way to do it. Um, I mean, there, you know, there's a lot of characters that, that can do it. Um, those are some options for you guys. Not, not Red Skull. I don't. I actually haven't seen... Um, well, I've done it a couple times with Beta Ray Bill, but it seemed like a really odd circumstance and a really odd situation that it happened. I was like, whoa, I didn't realize I could skip with them. And then the next time I brought him in, I couldn't skip with them. You know, same with Moonstone. Um, I've had people tell me that they did, but I've never seen it and I've never did it. Um, so it doesn't seem like it really it works with awakened characters. So you need some tier three characters. Star Lord can actually do it, and same thing. I didn't realize this. Um, shout out to um, Dantris. I actually, you know, I, I have this person on my friends list now. Let's find him. Where is he? There he is, right here. Um, you know, I, I apologize if I'm butchering this. Dan Taris. Dan Taris. Well, you right here, level 195. Um, uh, this person told me about, because I said you couldn't skip with Star-Lord, but it turns out you can. And um, they told me about it, and I went in, and I, and I actually did it. You want to save his Tier 3 for when that warning bar phase, you know, when that warning comes up. You do his Tier 3 after. You do 5 Tier 3 after that. 
you might have to wait for your teammates to do the damage to get them down to that point but then you can just pop that and and, and do and do the skipping right that that's you know that's where the synergy comes in comes into play so i've given you guys some options there um carnage can skip i'm not quite sure about venom i haven't used him much in danger room extreme um black bolt I know when he was first released, I tried using him, and I didn't have much luck with that with him. Maybe he can, um, but I haven't been able to do it. Maybe I'll try bringing him back in, you know, just to give you guys another low-cost, free-to-play option. Uh, Luna can't, I'm pretty sure. Um, Apocalypse can, but again, you know, I was trying to keep this really free-to-play friendly and on the lower-cost side for you guys. So those are some options. Um, I hope this helps you in your danger room extreme travels you know that trifling strife giving you problems you know say listen man we have little respect for you we are not going to play by your rules we're gonna skip your phases and get through this collect my five danger room boxes and bios and say bye bye so fellas i want you to stay tuned stay breezy but most of all Stay safe out there. And I will see you, young fellas, in the next one. Because I got something. I got something on my sleeve. I've been saying this. I haven't quite got around to it yet. But I'm waiting for the right time. And I think the right time is coming on up. So, adios, pony soldier. I'll see you around. See you around the watering hole. <laughs>